In the previous videos, I talked about exactly how you can become a Python backend developer in 2021, as well as some of the tips and tricks that can help you to learn Python. However, today we are actually going to talk about some of my top to most recommended Python courses on Udemy. So many of you might consider doing YouTube videos or watching YouTube videos to learn Python. Now, this is a great idea. I am not object to that, but what the problem with learning Python or learning any type of programming languages on YouTube is that there isn't a complete structure for that. But I still feel like having that core structure, having that community, having the practices and also the quizzes will still help you a ton. So this is why I would say that if you are considering taking this more seriously, definitely look into more of a course to help you to speed up the process of you learning to code. Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky May and I am a full-time developer living in New York City. So prior to development, I also have three years of experience as a full-time data analyst. So when I first learned Python, I went through all different kinds of resources and really just testing out on my own to find the best way to learn my first programming languages. And fast forward to today, I am still spending a ton of time going onto Udemy's and looking for different types of Udemy courses for either my developer friends or my mentees or also just for myself to learn something new. Today, I do wanted to kind of like walk you guys through some of my top recommendations on Udemy for Python. Um, actually, let me just sit down so I can really, really, really walk this through. All right, this is a good sit for me to get started with you guys. I am so excited. So course is number one on Udemy. It's this course called 2022 Complete Python Bootcamp. Go from zero to hero in Python 3 by Jose Portella. And this is a really, really great course because I can count how many times that this course was mentioned by a lot of Python experts and a lot of my developer friends who also recommended this course and they kept saying you will not get disappointed on this course and when I take a look at the course and also like the structures and what they're teaching in this course I was so excited to see actual real world projects for instance I was extremely impressed with the projects like teaching you how to use Python to split out the CSV files and import it into you know the database and there are just so many projects that are like that that you can actually use in the office settings this is also one of the rare courses that I found that talks not only about Python 3 but also Python 2 now I know that Python 2 is a little bit outdated, but I still feel like it's important to talk about Python 2 because you probably is still going to see a lot of the Python 2 in a lot of the code bases in other companies. This is a excellent course for beginners to start. Also a great course for someone who is already a developer or familiar with other programming languages and wanted to learn Python as their second or third programming language. The second courses that I would recommend on Udemy is this course called 100 Days of Code, the Complete Python Pro Bootcamp for 2022 by Angela Yu. Now, I know that I talked about this course before in my previous videos about how to become a Python backend developer. Um, one of the reasons that I recommend this course to a lot of beginners is because this course has so 
many different mini projects that are using Python. It touched base with not only web development, but so much about like data science, data analytics, machine learnings, and automations, and all of that, all in this one course within a hundred days. So. If you are considering exploring your options and thinking about, you know, trying out different types of development, this is the perfect course for you to not only learn Python, but experiencing different types of coding in Python. Obviously, this is a course that is taught by one of my favorite Udemy instructor, Dr. Angela Yu. I absolutely love the way that she explains things and she has like different types of Udemy courses out there and I would highly recommend you guys to check her out. I think she has like a phone, like mobile development course, I think in Swift, web development course, which I also really, really like that course. And this one, 100 Days of Co in Python. Um, so definitely check this course out. You will learn to build websites, games, and data science to learn the concepts and get better with Python. Now, are you looking for web development courses? I know that because I am a web developer, I get asked a lot about just web development um, recommendations in general. And I would say that one of the instructors that I really like his web development bootcamp is Andre. And I've mentioned his Udemy courses in the past before. So I'm going to actually give you two options of Python focus web development bootcamp for you to pick from. Now, the first one that I would recommend, it's called the Complete Python Developer in 2022, Zero to Mastery by Andre. And this course is one of the highest rated courses on Udemy. And this course also includes 12 real world projects for you to learn web development machine learning with Python. And one of the highlights of this course, I would say is for someone who does not have any experiences in web development, this course really walk you through from the beginning to the end about web development as well as adding Python into the course. And I would say that this course is best for a beginner who doesn't have any programming background as well as someone who are interested in machine learning with Python. And other thing that is really cool about this course is that they teach the framework called Django, which you might heard about it before. This is a very popular Python framework that is for web development. And I personally will recommend either Django or Flask to learn to learn Python. This course just covers so much about what you need to learn in Python. And I would highly, highly recommend that. Okay, so you might say, Vicky, what if I don't want to learn Django? What if I want to learn Flask? I got a course for you too. So course number four is this course called REST API with Flask and Python. I really, really like this course because it's mainly focusing in backend. You don't need to worry too much about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Obviously, if you're a beginner and you want to learn, you know, the front end side of things and you want more experience with front end, this might not be the course for you. But if you're looking for just like back end for Python, this is the perfect course for you because it goes in depth on refreshing the basic knowledge in Python. That allows you to take Python to the next level, introducing the framework Flask. And Flask is a very popular Python web development framework. It's a little bit more lightweighted than Django. I would say Django is definitely more heavy duty, but Flask is very easy to use and developed, and it's definitely a join of developing with Flask. This course is just about that. It's just about REST APIs and using Flask in Python, as well as giving you some basic concepts in Python. So highly, highly, highly recommend this course. Definitely check it out if you're considering learning Flask and also learning Python just for the backend in web development. Many of you might consider actually learning Python because you're considering learning or actually getting into data science. So as a ex data analyst, what I would recommend is this course called Python A to Seek 
Python for data science with real exercises. This is a course for people who are trying to step into the field of data analytics and data science. The way that this course was structured is to help you to become a data analyst or a data scientist. In this course, you'll learn the essential data science skills like statistical analytics, data mining, and virtualizations along with Python in this course. One of the really cool thing about this course is it comes with real practices and exercises that really walk you through step by step how you can think like a data scientist. Hey yo, if you stay this far to this video, I want you to comment in the comment section down below saying that I want to be a Python developer in 2022. And also make sure to share this video to someone who is probably going to find helpful from this video and give me a thumbs up so that more people can see this video as well. For the next week, I will be continuing talking about the best websites for you to learn either Python or JavaScript for free. So if you don't want to miss out for next week's content, make sure to click on the notification button so you will get notified as soon as I upload a new video that week. And and until next time, I will talk to you soon. Please stay safe and peace.